What's up fellow two-wheelers? I told you we're going to be doing the Street Glide special build and this week we're kicking that off with a new air cleaner and also an external breather system from DK Customs and I'll get into why you'd want to put that on your bike as well. Okay, one of the first things you're going to want to do is figure out how to get the old cleaner off the bike. And if you look around this thing, there's really no bolts or anything holding it on. But believe it or not, there's a piece of Velcro holding on this fascia piece that reveals a bolt on the front of the air cleaner. One bolt will remove the cover revealing the actual filter. You can then remove the three bolts to remove the filter from the backing plate. Pull the filter away gently to dislodge it from the breather tube attached to the back of the filter. The breather tube simply pull away from the breather bolts and backing plate. Next, you can remove the breather bolts that attach the backing plate to the head. Most stage one air cleaners will make this stock black bracket highly visible, so I recommend replacing it with a nice chrome version. Just remove your seat, prop up and protect your gas tank, and then you can gain access to the two bolts that connect the bracket to the throttle body. DK Custom sent us this beautiful contrast finned high flow air cleaner. You can start by installing the new chrome support bracket. Don't forget to throw a little thread locker on the new hardware as you install. At this point, it's time to install the back plate for your air cleaner. If you're installing an external breather system like we are, then your back plate's gonna be a little bit different than your stock plate or a lot of the aftermarket plates out there. As you can see on this stock mounting plate, it is designed to vent the hot, oily air directly from the engine through this tube and back into the intake. Many of the aftermarket air cleaners are basically different versions of this same setup. The purpose of this setup is purely for emission control. The concept of the external breather system is simple. Take a banjo bolt, route that through a hose to an external canister or filter so you can keep that hot oily air out of the engine. Next, install the gasket and backing plate using the three adjustable standoffs. The torque spec is only 40 to 60 inch pounds, so don't use too much force on these. Use some Teflon thread tape on the banjo bolts. There are a number of aluminum and vinyl washers in the kit, so make sure to install them in the right order shown here. Just feed the hoses under the tank for the time being. You can now attach the breather bolts. The torque value for these is between 22 and 24 foot-pounds. At this point, we're almost done installing the air cleaner. Install the filter and then the foam gasket. And lastly, the fun part, you get to put the nice fancy cover on. It's now time to trim and route the hoses for the external breather system. You can route the hoses and put the catch can anywhere, but it's a good idea to place it below the breather bolts. Here you can see the finished product where the hose routes and we zip tied the little catch can right here behind the cylinders. One final touch is a matching timing cover and that's pretty much a wrap. That does it for this video. Thanks to DK Customs for setting us up with a beautiful air cleaner and the external breather system. We'll have more videos coming up on the Street Glide build. I'm Chainsaw from Granite City Riders. Thanks for watching.